Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick Sims. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can run Minecraft 1.8.7 fast with no lag. Now this does use Optifine to do this. So there's a uh, video on your screen right now, which will take you off and show you how to install Optifine. Now I'm going to give you some other tips in addition to Optifine, but that video on your screen right now will, uh, will, will show you how to do that. So anyway guys, go install Optifine and then come back to this video and it will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, as you can see here, we are on the Minecraft launcher, and we've got the Optifine profile selected down below. Now, before we do anything, let's come over here and hit Edit Profile. There's a few things we want to do. First and foremost, we want to go ahead and dedicate some more RAM to Minecraft. To do that, you can come down here, and uh, as you can see, it says XMX, and then I have 3 gigabytes because that's what I want to dedicate to Minecraft. Well, how much should you dedicate to Minecraft? Well, let's figure it out. Let's go ahead and go up here to the Windows button or hit the Windows key on your keyboard if you're on Windows 8 and then come over here to where it says computer and then once you're where it says computer you'll see uh, system properties right there so click on that and right here we are with the uh, how much RAM we have as you can see I have 15.9 gigabytes of usable RAM right so I can use the maximum amount I would recommend for vanilla Minecraft 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft for you guys right you might just have two gigabytes. If you do, you probably want to dedicate one gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. If you have like, I don't know, six gigabytes, you could go three or two. Two gigabytes will run Minecraft Vanilla perfectly fine. Um, I, I go overboard and do three personally. What you got to do is come here where it says XMX 3G, right? For me, or probably 1G for you, right? Or maybe even 1,012 megabytes or whatever it says. Come in here and replace that for 3G to simply, or from whatever it says to like, for example, 2G. That's going to be 2 gigabytes. 3G, 3 gigabytes, right? So 3G. 4G is going to be 4 gigabytes, and then 1G is 1 gigabyte. That's how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 3 because uh, that's what I want to use. Because 3 is perfectly fine, and I've got enough RAM to spare. If you don't, don't do it. Never use more than half your RAM for Minecraft, and honestly... If at all possible, never use more than one-fourth of your RAM for Minecraft. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, save that profile and go ahead and launch into the Optifine, you know, like, version, right? So we've got Optifine installed on this Minecraft version. Now, once Minecraft opens, there's one more tip I need to give you about reducing lag in Minecraft. And that is right-clicking up here on the, uh, the, the, the menu bar. Mine's at the top, yours is at the bottom. It doesn't matter where it's at. Just simply right-click on it, and then you want to start the task manager. Now, for you, most likely you'll be right here, right, on the Applications folder. Go ahead and click on Processes, and then, as you can see here, there are Java W things. There's one here, and there's another right here. Now, the first one is needed, the one that's taking the most amount of memory. And, by the way, I've sorted by memory here. That's why I'm, how I'm finding these. But, anyway, the one that's taking the most amount of memory, that one's fine. The one that's not, that one right there, is, well not so let's go ahead and right click and end that process not the process tree just that process as you can see it's disappeared and minecraft is still up in the background that was literally just eating ram on your computer without any rhyme or reason so that is now gone and you're good to go you can go through here and close out of things you know will be fine to close out of for example you don't need chrome open and that's in quite a bit of ram and you know you don't need obs open unless you're recording and things like that and i am recording so i do need it open nevertheless once you've done that you can just close out of this and we can go ahead and jump into optifine first and foremost if you want to stop lag remove that texture pack because that is going to make you lag like uh, like no other. I can promise you that. But once you've done that, we can go ahead and jump into the video settings here. And uh, I'm going to do this like I'm going to make it to where if you have a terrible computer, if you have the worst computer in the world, I'm going to try everything I can here to make you be able to play Minecraft. So what I would recommend you doing is doing what I do, right? Going into Minecraft, seeing if you can play it, and then maybe mess around with things to see if your computer can handle a little bit more than what I'm giving it. Does that make sense? So for example, I'm gonna turn my render distance all the way down to tiny. You probably don't want a tiny render distance, I get that, but I would turn it down to tiny, go into the game, make sure you're good to go, make sure you're getting like over 60 FPS or at least over 30 FPS, and then maybe you can turn it up to, you know, like a normal eight render distance, or maybe even, if you want to get really crazy, 16. So, there's that, and um, I would recommend, like I said, just going through all of this and doing exactly how I do it, and then tweaking with it uh, to make it either look a little bit better, maybe give you more render distance or something like that, whatever you want to do to uh, to be able to play more enjoyably. But, my goal isn't 
to have you enjoy playing, it's to allow you to play, really. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump on into this. First off, we want fast graphics, we want tiny render distance, and we want smooth lighting to be off. And smooth lighting level also needs to be off if smooth lighting is off. View bobbing, leave it on or off, doesn't matter to me. GUI scale, the smaller the GUI scale, this right here, the less lag you'll get. But, um, I'm recording a tutorial and I think you guys want to be able to see, so we're going to turn that back to normal so you guys can actually see what's going on. But, if you want to be a real stickler about it and make sure Minecraft doesn't lag, and it's still lagging maybe after you've done everything else, you can come back in here and change the GUI scale from small, or too small, and uh, it might help. Use VBOs, you want to turn those on. We can go to brightness. Brightness doesn't really affect, uh, affect anything, so I'm going to leave it all the way up. Alternative blocks needs to go off. Fog needs to go off. Fog start doesn't matter. 3D and glyph and a glyph needs to go uh, off as well. You don't want 3D. Nobody wants 3D. Go ahead and go into quality. And then in here, that needs to be off. All of that needs to be turned down. Clear water off. Better grass off. Custom fonts off. Swamp colors off. Kind of textures off. Off, 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 off. Everything. Everything that you see right here that's turned off, turn it off as well because it needs to, it all needs to be off. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go down to details, where clouds need to be off, trees need to be fast, rain and snow need to be fast, stars off, sky off, moon off, caves off, translucent blocks fast, held item tooltips on, um, or off, it actually doesn't matter, but I like to leave it on, entity shadows off, dropped items fast, and vignette fast, or vignette fast. After that, we can move on down to performance, where we want smooth FPS on, we want smooth world on, we want fast math on, unless you have some like texture flickering or issues with that, then you want to turn off fast math. Same thing for fast render, we're going to leave that on, unless you have any texture flickering or something like that, then uh, you want to turn that off because that's where it's coming from. Chunk updates 1, that's uh, that's going to be the, uh, I'm sorry, chunk updates 5, I messed up, chunk updates 5 there. Dynamic updates going to be on, that means it's going to update more while you're standing still than when you're, you're moving. Lazy chunk loading, turn that on. It's going to especially help if you are on uh, on servers. It's not letting me turn that on. But that should be on if it will let you. But apparently that's a bug. And it is not letting me turn that on right now. Alright, let's go ahead and click done. Go on down to animations. This one's really easy. Come on down here where it says all off and click on that. All off is uh, is good to go now. Come back over here to other. And then we can do lagometer. Off, it doesn't matter. I don't like the lagometer. You can turn it on if you want. Weather's going to be off. Time is going to be default. Debug profile is going to be off. Full screen. Bigger Minecraft is, the uh, more problems you're going to have. And show FPS. That can be on or off. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to leave it on. And auto save. This right here is something. It's default every two seconds. I like to turn it to three minutes. If you really want to be risky, you can turn it to 30 minutes. What this means is how much time are you willing to lose in Minecraft, basically. Auto save is something that I would recommend not doing over three minutes because I'm okay with losing three minutes of work in Minecraft, 30 minutes of work, not so much. So yeah, that's kind of how that works for me. That's why I always turn it to three minutes instead of like 30 because I don't want to lose 30 minutes. I want to lose three minutes. Three minutes is fine. 30 minutes not fine. So I'd recommend doing that. Click done, click done, and uh, you're good to go. That's everything you can pretty much do there. So let's go ahead and jump into a uh, into a world here. We'll just do this creative world. I'm going to get an error. This isn't an error that you have to worry about. Oh, I didn't. Wow, that's amazing. And as you can see, right up there in the corner, the top left, right over, wait, no, right over, the, which way? Right, that way. Right, no, right over there, in the corner. In the corner, up, up, up here, right? You see, there's my FPS, right? So 160, 148, 154. As you can see, there it is. And uh, 200. I got up to 300 a second ago, 336, 427. You most likely won't be pulling numbers like this because for you, your computer isn't as good as mine. And that sounds like I'm bragging, but it's just the truth. I um, I can run Minecraft without Optifine and get 100 FPS. So with these optimizations, I should definitely be getting you know, 400, 500 FPS easily. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nix Games. Hope Optivine now runs swell for you. If it does, again, thumbs up, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials and videos and Let's Plays and everything every single day of the week. I'm Nix Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got how to install World Edit in Minecraft 1.8. That video shows you, well, how to install World Edit in Minecraft 1.8 to do awesome things and build awesome structures with the world edit. And down the other way, we've got how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.7. Pretty important, considering you just watched 
a, a tutorial on how to get an Optifine set up. So go check out that video to see how to install it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.